So the second half of our main event for UFC 295, Jiri Prohashka. And if you guys updated the game after that little, I don't know if it would be considered a hot fix or a tuner, or I think more so of a patch, you notice that Jiri Prohashka and Alex are now the main intro fight as opposed to John Jones and Stipe. So nice. So with his perks, it really does help him out with the way that he fights, you know, Predator boosts his footwork and going forward. Although could be debatable if he actually has really good footwork. Kind of the way I watched him get popped off by Wilbur Teixeira kind of makes me, eh, I don't know about that. But we'll get on that a little bit later. Carpenter Wood does help him with his ability to stay in the fight, even if he has less health than his opponent. Frontal assault, fast hands, those are both perks that help out with accuracy and speed with the necessary strikes that are listed. And pay to miss, hmm, now that boosts his head movement. But I don't know if I would call it effective head movement at all times, but I'll say this much. In the stand-up, he is very dangerous. Punch speed, accuracy, especially after the perks. He is very dangerous without that regard, especially because of his power. Blocking stat is not high. Now, his head movement, I can't say, you can't go and say this guy has no defense because he does land some pretty devastating counters. I think that he relies on a lot of high-risk, high-reward head movement and defensive maneuvers. Like, he rarely ever blocks. Like, he does block, obviously, but not to the extent that he probably should in a lot of moments. And he's very comfortable with moving his head. As well as he is with switching his stance. And his durability goes a long way with that. Footwork stat is pretty high. Takedown defense, kick power, kick speed. Pretty much good. You know, it's pretty good. Grappling. They didn't overly buff him, thankfully, for submitting Glover to share. As that was more so due to fatigue. And also because of Glover's terrible decision making trying to pull guard. But his submission defense was indeed true there. And he survived multiple sub attempts. I probably would argue that should be maybe a 96. Ground striking is pretty good. Clint striking is pretty good. Health stats. Like, he's an absolute juggernaut. And he also got, you know, a nice little update on his model. But, yeah, his recovery is pretty solid. Chin health is solid. And we're going to go over and take a look at his move list. So, Mr. Prohashka. Pretty good move levels, honestly. I actually didn't realize that he had too many move levels like this. Because, I'll be honest with you, I think I maybe showcased him once. On UFC 4, and I had no intentions of using him much at all. Just didn't seem like an interesting person to use. But good punches all around. Like, just pretty much good base level moves. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, level 4 cross, level 4 lead hook, level 4 body straight. Lots of good potential mix-ups here. With his leg kicks, not too much there. Although his front kick, his lead front kick is a level 3. His lead body front kick is a level 3. Which would give him access to that newer animation, the snappier one. The body front kick is at a level 4 too. And the flying knees at a level 4. As well as the lead body switch kick is 2. Lead flying knees at 3. Okay. Now the spinning strikes, I'm pretty sure, yep, he has a level 5 lead spinning elbow. So instead of the traditional X and circle, if you're on PlayStation, you're going to go L1, X and circle, and input the lead spinning elbow. If you're on Xbox, you will see your input in the move list. Right, let me go to the clinch with strikes here. Clinch knees to the head and knees to the body are four and knees to the legs. So when you're up against the cage, okay, call it side clinch. I don't even have to talk about takedowns with this guy. I mean, he <laughs> the one takedown that he is accredited for is when Dominic Reyes pulled guard on a guillotine, which he didn't even need to do, but that's a discussion for another day. Not the best get ups or reversals or sweeps, so kind of like a fish out of water on the ground unless he's on top. And pretty good ground and pound. So, Rene could choke us out of two. Nothing too crazy. We're just looking to knock motherfuckers out. Honestly, that's all we're looking to do. So, we're going to take him over to ranked or quick fight and have some fun. Jiri Prohashka would be the type of dude to go into a mountain to get into a psychedelic state to fight himself. So, that's what's going to happen here. Now, I don't give this man enough credit, or not a lot of people do. Oh yeah, we can get nasty. I don't mind getting nasty with the elbows. But the dude actually has some Muay Thai accolades. Or he actually does have some Muay Thai accolades. Was the champion arisen? Let him let off that level five spinning elbow. That's a pretty accurate uh, right hand. I've been watching some more of his bouts. But he has a... Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> By all means, we can get nasty. We're using Jerry. We're using Jerry, buddy. We're 
Jiri's a Jiri. I can take all the chances I want. It wouldn't be an accurate Jiri showcase if I didn't. <laughs> By all means. But, you know, he does scramble hard when he gets into grappling positions. But I, don't, I really doubt that he's going to try to grapple Alex. As I mentioned uh, earlier. Oh, my lord. As I mentioned earlier. The one takedown he's gotten in his UFC career was when Dominic Reyes opted to pull guard with a guillotine. Go for the clinch knee. Other than that, that dude is not going to. He's an opportunistic grappler, and that's usually the case with guys who get into MMA. They get opportunistic grappling. I love the reckless abandon from both of us here. In the most jeery like fashion. <laughs> Yo, we can fucking throw elbows, my boy. I'm not opposed to it this time. I can, I can do all the technical shit another time. We're trying to fight crazy. We're trying to fight fucking crazy. If you want all that fucking smoke, we can do that. I figured. I figured. The samurai don't fold. The samurai does not fold at all. Not one bit. Will he vote against Alex? Very likely. But that's a good fun first fight. Now the other thing, I'm not sure if it's going to hurt Jiri Pahashka much at all, is that he is coming off on a 15 month layoff, but it's also 15 months to be training. Of course, you know, he, he had the injury that made him vacate the title. Right? He had that injury. Then Jamal Hill ended up winning the belt, and I was so excited to see him and Hill go at it, because I thought Hill would win that belt. But watching some of his bouts, like uh, his bout against Volkan Ozdemir, he's always kind of leaning, crouching, fishing for the rear uppercut. Very high, very high pace round, and there's a lot of back steps too. You know, like he presses forward, presses forward, slightly takes himself out of range. Little regards for his opponent. Well, he could have duck into something nasty there the late Anthony Johnson always known for his power he also made a change in his patch that uh you can't really throw that oh my lord you can't really throw that flying knee when the guys are trying to trip you which is great it's one of my biggest gripes on UFC 4 uh oh no 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 we can get we can get nasty with it we can get what the fuck get real nasty with it so you go for a ducking uppercut. It is kind of, it is actually low-key difficult to try to fight like a crazy person. Because I have to like go against, there we go. Everything that I know. Every bit of thing that's the same. No, 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 no. To really make this work. To stay in character. Oh my gosh. Hey, now, now we can't back up. This has to be wild. Ain't no technical. There's some technicality to this crazy man. But it can't be. For this showcase, to make this an actual, legit Jerry Prohaska showcase, we need to take risk. We gotta take risk, just like that. Toma que lleva. No, 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 no. So to the body. Oh my god. This is what the people want to see. This is what the people want to see. This is what all y'all want to see. Oh my lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. That is not the prettiest UFC 5 experience, but forgive me. Oh lord almighty. This man is a tank. He is an absolute tank. Wow. Smack him with the spinning elbow. I don't like that animation. I will say this time and time again. I do not like the animation. If there's, I rarely give any praise to UFC 2, if anything at all. I will say that it had a nicer spinning elbow animation. It was the John Jones one. 
but I would like that one. I definitely would like that one, but no. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Hurt. Ay, ay, ay. It actually is possible to play like Jerry. I don't know if it's possible to do that at like the upper echelon of the game, but it certainly is possible in regular play. That was fun. That was fun. Now the hood's off. Now, does, our, does that change our approach? No, it does not. You still have to be a crazy wild man. Doesn't matter what happens. Doesn't matter what happens. We're going to win that transition. Jiri has shown a very, very underrated scrapping ability. Uh oh. <laughs> scrapping, <laughs> rather, an urgency when he grapples. And that's what helps him a lot. And grappling exchanges. He's not the most experienced grappler, but I'll tell you this much. You keep your hands and feet moving. Against somebody trying to hold you down. Makes it very difficult. Now, I don't expect this fight to go to the ground. Other than like some type of crazy knockdown exchange. But... I will say, I do like Jiri's chances if it does go on the ground, mainly because Alex is not a goddamn purple belt or brown belt. I don't care what Wikipedia says, he is not, especially after what I saw against Hadesanya. All right, we got to stay consistent here. We got to act like we're not hurt. We got to act like we're not hurt. We just gotta walk through the fire. Try to fire off a knee? Nope. Try to fire off a knee to the head. And make this fight as ugly as possible. And it's crazy because this guy could be doing so much more with Alex's footwork. But he's kind of staying as a stationary target. Not really using too many of Alex's weapons properly. Oh my gosh, that would have been a perfect. Keep dipping our head. Keep dipping our head. Draw some counters. Good old fashioned. Block. Oh, Alex. Now, I hope you don't get done like this in the actual fight, bro. Dip our head, dip our head. Bro, that is twice now we've been able to. We've been able to slip that front kick. There it is. All right, we got the dipping uppercut counter. That's all I wanted. We got the duck one against that Johnson. It's about to be the ugliest fight that you guys have ever seen me showcase on my channel. Oh, my Lord. Saved by the bell. That's a 10-8. That is a brutal, brutal 10-8. Oh, man. This is the juggernaut of the light heavyweight division. Like, this is the type of guy that um, lesser skilled players can use and get away with uh, doing some ugly shit. Because, holy fuck. <laughs> oh, don't tell me he quit. Or is it desyncing? No, okay, it's fine. Still have that. Will he be willing to touch gloves? He is. Thank you for being a good sportsman. Jerry Prohaska. All righty. All finishes. That's all finishes with Jerry. Respect. Hey, thank you for not being a hater. Respect. I hope he understood what I was doing. Um, what are my chances for Jerry winning against Alex? He has act. He does actually have a pretty good chance. Do I believe he's going to win? No, I would like Alex to win. I think he's just a better people on fighter. But a man named Cody Dank on Twitter said. Jiri's like the light heavyweight division's Drikus Duplessis. Just when you think he's supposed to lose a fight, he ends up winning. He looks like he's tired and he's not. So, we'll see what's going to unfold on side. We got to showcase the big boys next, but that was as Jiri as I can make it. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy the showcase. I will be enlisting this.
in due time. Number 17, I appreciate all of you. Have a great day.